Thou shall not bear a false witness. Thou shall not bear a false witness. Thou shall not bear a false witness. It's amazing to me that Jesus Christ had no Caucasian ancestors, but he had five ancestors, and his tribe, the tribe of Judah, began half hemetic, in other words, half black. But in Eurocentric Christianity's great white hoax, they will never tell you, but they continue to bear the false witness that Jesus was a Ashkenazi, meaning European Jew, okay? When he had no European, Caucasian, in other words, white relatives. Thou shall not bear a false witness. Nevertheless, white lies matter. But when you bring them to the word of God, when you bring them to the word of God, and it says that Jesus is called the lion of the tribe of Judah, and a black man carried his cross of humanity shame, and it says that Judah, the founder of the tribe of our Lord and Savior, who died for our sins and whose blood washes away our sins and his resurrection justifies us freely from all sin. Judah, the founder of the Lord of Lord and King of Kings tribe, saw the daughter of a certain Canaanite whose name was Shua and he took her and went in unto her. Now this guy, Judah, from whence we get the word Jew, he was the founder of the tribe, okay? And that's where the Jews come from. There are 12 tribes of Israel, but two major tribes, the royal tribes of Israel of Judah and Benjamin, along with a smattering of Levites, comprised to make Judea, and they became the Jews that we know today. Okay? That's where we get the word from, is this guy's name. Well, he finds the daughter of a certain Canaanite very attractive, and he took her and went in unto her. And what does it say? She conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Ur. So the first Jew Judah had was born of a certain Canaanite. Well, Europeans read it and weep. The sons of Noah that went forth from the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham is the father of who? Cana, who is the father of the Canaanites. So she is a direct descendant of Ham, who is the father of the black race. For Ham is the father of Cana. And Ham's sons' names are what? They wrote their names in Hebrew and Europeans kept their names in Hebrew. His firstborn son's name was Ethiopia. They kept his name in Hebrew in the King James Slave Trade Bible as Cush to bury the black history. His second born son's name in English is Egypt. Now the current NIV Bible does show in Genesis 10, 6 that Egypt was the son of Ham. But the rest of the Bibles continue to bear the false witness of Eurocentric Christianity's great white hoax. And when you show them that Jesus was not a white European Ashkenazi Jew because he had five black ancestors, now they got mad when Barack Obama just had one. And they totally refused to call him biracial. They call him African American. And God put that in their face. You want to denigrate the African-Americans, let me give you an African-American. But because people don't understand judgment, that's what God did to Americans. And they still are reeling from it. And that's why they can't get the government together today because their minds are still baffled. You know what you need to get? Get this book, The Complete History of Blacks in the Bible. It's available on Amazon.com. Or you can get also, Jesus was a black Jew not a white European Ashkenazi Jew. And that's the only time you'll hear whites say, it doesn't, matter. it doesn't make a difference what color he does. It doesn't make a difference what color he was. 
it doesn't make a difference what color he was? I think that you guys make it very plain that it makes a big difference to you of what color he was because you never vary his color. He's never the color of today's Middle Easterners. And he had five hymetic, direct hymetic female descendants in his bloodline's ancestry, but no descendants of Japheth, the father of the Caucasoid race. But when it comes to us showing you scripture that the Bible says that Ham was the father of Cana and that Judah <clears throat> married a certain Canaanite and had three sons by her in the 38th chapter of Genesis, then all of a sudden, color doesn't matter. Color doesn't. It seems to me that color matters quite a bit to you guys. Okay? Only person that color doesn't matter to the only color that matters to Jesus is that are you colored with his blood? His blood washes away your sins. And you're not a sinner because you sin. You're a sinner because you were born of Adam. Born of man. The word man means Adam. Okay? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's him. Not him. That's Simon of Cyrene. Get this picture and put it in your church. It's Simon of Cyrene by Alan Jones. It's on imagekind.com. Great artist, and he's featured in this book. Jesus was a black Jew. That's available on amazon.com. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that he died for your sins and rose again, and that gives you the free gift of salvation. Order this book, Jesus was a black Jew, on amazon.com.